back to my channel. It's me, Vonna Brooke, and I am back with a skincare routine. I'm so excited because I have been absolutely fucking myself over. I spend so much money on skincare, it is ridiculous. So I have to rein it in. I have been obsessed with TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And you probably can tell from the vibe of some of my last few three minute reviews because a lot of the stuff I have been getting has been from them. And I know these aren't the kind of things that like are often reviewed, but someone asked me like, like where do you get all your skincare? And I'm honestly like, I go to TJ Maxx, anything that's like Korean or like has ingredients that I know works for my skin, I just pick that shit up because it's so, 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 so affordable and you can find some really nice items. So let's just get started. I'll start with the first thing that I actually use all the time, but I don't actually get from TJ Maxx. You can get this anywhere. I got this at Walmart. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Foaming Wash love this i love this because it's so simple the only thing i don't like is it burns my eyes but both of my washes right now burn the shit out of my eyes and they keep my skin looking amazing so who am i to complain but <clears throat> yeah i really like this it foams up nice it's nice and affordable it has um no perfume or dyes or um harsh chemicals so i really like it i just use two pumps um and it does everything i need it to do love 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 it nice and simple really good for oily skin cuts through my oil cuts through my spf cuts through um leftover makeup so such a fan really such a fan and then this is from um i think i got this one at marshall's yeah this is the egg cleansing foam this is by esfolio this is i believe a korean or asian skincare brand and it has um egg yolk extract in it and uh yeah i really like this this was only 3.99 and it's a huge bottle i can't tell how much you get in it oh yeah it's like 5.2 fluid ounces in here and i love the way this foams this isn't a foam like this one this one you pump it out it comes out as a foam this one a dab will do you a little bit of water and it's you got foam for days like, I love that about this. It really foams up and it's a rich, rich lather. It's it's a little unlike this one. This one has more of an airy foam. This is more like a thick, creamy foam, which is why I use them together because I just like the texture of it. Um, this one, when I first used it, I was a little skeptical about how, um, if it was really cleaning my skin because it does leave your skin really, like, the craziest, like, slickness to it. Like, it's like, um, you know when you clean something to the point where it's, like, squeaky clean? that's how it feels but almost as if like there's something over your skin but i do think that is the yolk extract because it is supposed to help um care for dry skin so because i have combination skin i like to not strip too 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 much especially in the winter months so this cleans me up gets all my oil and sebum off but it does still leave my skin nice and fresh so i do like using these two together but i do also use them apart i do usually tend to double cleanse something i've realized recently is that and I don't know why it took me so long to realize it, but I have really, really oily skin. Although I have combination skin, the oily parts of my skin are crazy oily. Like, I'll wash my face and it'll still be shiny, and because I am so used to seeing myself shiny as fuck, like I'm a reflective person, like truly always reflective. It's, it just is what it is. Um, I realized I'm like, okay, like, no, you have to wash your face until you're literally not shiny anymore. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's like, I don't see my skin matte. So it's, it's weird to me. So I've been doing that recently and I think it's really, really been helping. So I've been focusing on my nose and especially like right here. And you'll see that when I'm washing my face, but I don't know. I've just been like really just paying attention to the texture of my skin and things like that. And another thing that's really been helping my skin, which I mentioned one of these, I think in almost all of my skincare videos, um, peel off masks. I love them. I love, 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 love them. And this is one of my favorites. I have gotten from um, TJ Maxx. This is Dr. Wellness Peel Off Mask. It's a vitamin C brightening and energizing. What really drew me to this was, of course, the vitamin C and the fact that it's a peel off mask, but it's also clear. It's like crystal clear. And I'm a big fan of anything that just doesn't have the extra shit. Like, I don't need the color. I don't need the fragrance. I don't need the dye. I don't need it. I don't care. Um, it doesn't need to be pretty. You know what I mean? 
um so i really really like this one i like the one the way this one peels i like the way it washes off it's just not too 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 stubborn and i like the ingredients like it has collagen it has orange extract hyaluronic acid uh rich hazel which is really good for my skin so just a few things that i know works on my skin so i love it it does have fragrance in it which kind of bothers me but i do like the fact that it is crystal clear the fact that it comes in a pot though is a little different which is why you saw me um with the brush so i take the brush but every single time i use my brush because i do use that brush on all of my face masks whether it's peel off clay whatever i that is my face mask brush i use my favorite absolute favorite um brush cleaner i use this for my makeup brushes as well as the new skincare brushes this is the sephora detox deep cleaning brush shampoo it's amazing so i put on my peel off mask and because i do like to multitask um and because i do sometimes think that so i'll wash my face and then i'll put on my mask and then i kind of do think about my eye area i'm like okay so my eye area usually when i do my skincare routine it's moisturized from the get-go you know like it doesn't spend a lot of time just after being washed chilling you know what i mean like it's eye cream is done been slathered so uh to supplement those 20 minutes of dryness i put on my panda hydro gel eye patches these are the gold series it comes with 60 patches 30 pairs and the cutest little spatula um, which i can't work i just it's a total fail every time uh i really like these though um they smell like skincare they don't have like a scent to them and they're really nice i've actually noticed a little bit of a difference like i used one the other day i was just really trying to relax after a bad day and oh my god like the next morning i look so freaking fresh like i have really dark circles they're my number one skincare insecurity are my dark circles my deep set eyes i love that my eyes are deep set i just wish that I didn't accentuate how dark my circles are um, and this really does a good job because oh my god so many good ingredients so it does have gold in here and literally gold is the one, two. gold is the third and fourth ingredient so i really really appreciate that um always check your ingredients if it says it has something in there make sure it's like in the top 10 at least if you're going to spend your money on it um blackberry extract blueberry extract raspberry strawberry cranberry um let me see what else oh yeah collagen and that's the most important thing to me is like anything that has collagen in top 10 like put it on my motherfucking face i need it and then after i'm done masking and doing all the extra pampering i go on with the rest of my daily moisturizing routine which of course has to have some sort of serum in it i'm such a serum freak i love 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 them um valgene labs is just like you're gonna find it in TJ Maxx. You're gonna find it in um, Marshalls. You can also find the Glossier serums in Marshalls as well. So I think that's gonna be one of the next things that I pick up. But this is the Hydrate Hyaluronic Acid with Vitamin B5 Facial Serum. I love this. I think it's just, it reminds me a lot of um, the Origins Essence because you put it on and your skin just feels instantly like I'm good. You know, like, don't worry about me you know what i mean so i pat this on especially excuse me especially making sure i get to my neck i really try and make sure that i get my neck as well as your your jawline and your chin and all of this because like you know it starts drooping like your face is gonna go with it you know what i mean um so i i really like this but i've never been disappointed by valgene labs not even once of course i have to have an eye serum this is the azure beauty elixir eye serum it is a youth restoring treatment it is for anti-aging and dark circle reducing i don't notice a difference with this one as much as i do um like these patches uh this i put on just because i like the extra moisture and because it, it does have a lot of peptides in it so first few ingredients collagen hyaluronic acid and um, hexapeptide and there's not that many ingredients in here so I do really like it i just don't know what it's doing for me but i know i have a stubborn eye area so that really could just be me i don't know i have been using this for a really long time though because it comes with one whole fluid ounce just for your eyes i also use it on my smile line so some putting it there over my lips my um forehead and then like right where you would like in between my eyebrows and kind of like my nose bridge just areas that like get dry and more peptides i really want to like focus on anti-aging and preventing wrinkles there 
So I just like this because it's nice. I don't know exactly what it's doing for me, so it's just one of those little extra things. I could take it or leave it if I'm being honest, but one thing I don't think I could take or leave is this beautiful new oil that I've been so, so into. Oh my gosh, so this is the Advanced Clinicals Turmeric Oil. It's, it's perfect for problem skin, and I really, 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 really love this. The texture of it is what surprised me the most. It goes on so like, it's an oil, but it goes on really like velvety almost. Like the way it smooths onto your skin just gives me such a feeling of like high quality skincare. You know it when you feel it. And I have just been so impressed with it. My skin has been looking so bright. It really does reduce redness as well. Like I usually don't get red, but when I do have like a stubborn pimple or I had one um, over here that was super red like yesterday and it just calms them down so well. But what I've really been using this with during the day is this. This is not my favorite thing in the world. This gives me a white cast like you wouldn't believe. This is the Neutrogena Naturals Brightening Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen and SPF 25. I don't fuck with 25. I need 30. 30 is where it is. 30 is gonna give you actual broad spectrum UV. A and UVB. Um, if you're not using 30, you are lacking. So I am lacking and slacking and it doesn't feel good. But um, it does have an interesting texture. I kind of do like how it is on my oily skin. If my skin wasn't pigmented, I probably wouldn't have a problem with it, but it's just it's just too white casty on me. It's nothing like the Aveeno one. If you want a better moisturizer, check out um, I'll link it up there, um, my Aveeno Naturals. That's the best SPF I've ever used for dark skin to date. So yeah, that's what I wanna be using, but this is what I am using right now, it's almost up. Um, but I mix my turmeric oil in it, and so it does alleviate some of that white cast as well as just, oh, it just glides on beautifully. Um, and they do suggest that. So it does say put a few drops on your hands and put it on your face and neck. Um, but also add five drops to your moisturizer for an added boost of hydration. Um, I go ham with this. I don't even follow it. Like, I'd be all over my face. When I was in LA, I didn't bring my night cream with me. Um, and honestly, my skin looked better. So I don't, I haven't really been using it since. I just, I've just been using that to seal in all my products. There's another brand that I have noticed is popping up a lot at um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I've also noticed this, you can get these at Ulta, um, Oof, Ulta and somewhere else I've noticed online. Acure uh, Wellness, they are a completely vegan brand. They, their tagline is vegan but not pretentious, which I really, really love. Um, oh, and then this one says 100% vegan, 0% questionable. I love that. So paraben-free, sulfate-free, mineral oil-free, petroleum-free, silicone-free, cruelty-free. I love it. And one fluid ounce of eye cream. Look how big this eye cream is. Like, I love that. This is their Radically Rejuvenating Eye Cream. It has um, Edelquest, Edel, Edelwest Extract and COQ10. It's Pacific. 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 Specifically, specifically for age performance, which of course everybody knows I'm all up into my anti-aging. I have had no complaints. I really actually like the way this feels when it goes on my skin. If anything, it is, um, the applicator is just kind of big. So I do always end up putting on like a ton of eye cream, which I do usually, but it's like, I feel like I don't have much of a choice. Um, but besides that, I really, really like this. I also really like the scrub. Um, I'm probably gonna do a separate exfoliation routine for you guys because that scrub, um, and besides that, honestly, I've just been trying to drink my water and stay away from dairy. Dairy is just the number one thing that will always, always, always break me out. Um, it just, oof, it really gets to me. But, um, if you have good habits, you will have good skin, and, uh, all of these products obviously really, really help. Um, but I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more skincare routines because actually most of these things I am running out of. So it is time for me to re-up, try some new things. If there's something you would like me to try, um, definitely put it down below because I, I am always on the hunt. I know you guys love these videos so, so, so much and I love making them for y'all. So I definitely want to do more in 2020 because I switch up my skincare all the time, all the time. 
Um, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, leave it a like. If you like me, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more of me, you can always check me out on my Instagram, Yvonne Brooke. I hope this video finds you in the best place possible. Bye.